Let's walk through how to connect a Next.js application to PlanetScale using Prisma. And at the end of this, we'll deploy this entire thing to Vercel. Hey everyone, and welcome to the PlanetScale channel. My name is James Quick, and I'm a staff developer advocate here at PlanetScale. And I love Next.js, so I figured I would walk you through our Next.js starter for working with PlanetScale. So you'll have a link to the docs in the description below, which is basically the steps that we're gonna follow that is connecting a Next.js application. Now for this, we're gonna use the pscale CLI, meaning we can run commands from the terminal to create our database in PlanetScale to create our connection strings, et cetera. I'll also show you the dashboard so you can do the equivalent in the dashboard, just whichever one works best for you. So you'll need to have Node.js installed on your machine and you'll need to have the PlanetScale CLI. I'll have a link to that in the description below to make sure that you have the instructions on how to install that and have that ready to go as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually log in to PlanetScale via the CLI. So I've got uh, pscale already installed and so I can run pscale auth login. And notice I'm getting some IntelliSense here for the different commands. This is from a product called fig.io which gives IntelliSense for lots of different CLI tools. So uh, this will take me to the browser. It says to confirm this code, it should say in here what that code should be. So one WV six something something. So that looks good. So we'll confirm that now I will be, um, as, it can, as it does the confirmation, I will be successfully logged in to the PlanetScale CLI. So the next thing we'll wanna do is actually create a database. Now, again, we could do this from the terminal or from the dashboard. And in this case, we'll do pscale database. Uh, create, and we need to give a name to this database. This will be the uh, PS uh, Next.js starter. That'll be the name that we'll use. It's gonna create this database. By default, it's gonna create this in our East region in the US. Um, just to show you that this is done, I'm logged into the PlanetScale dashboard here, and if I refresh, see all my databases, we should see that I have the PS Next.js starter already created. Now this is going through and initializing. And if we look at branches, this is gonna create a main branch for us by default. Uh, so PlanetScale introduces this concept of having branches available for your database. So you can kind of segment your testing, your staging, your production, that sort of stuff. So we have our database created and we have that uh, main branch created. Uh, now we want to clone the starter repo and actually bring that local to our machine. So there'll be a link to this in the description below as well. Um, in this case, I'm gonna CD into my code directory and then into delete me. And I'm going to clone uh, that repository. And it looks like I already have that uh, local. So let me delete the one that I already have. So let's go ahead and remove that one. And then we'll run this clone command again. So this will pull this project in brand new. And then I like to run the code dash R command, which says reuse the open window that we have to open that Next.js starter. So I'll just open this up and now we'll have uh, this repo local for us and we'll talk through all the files and everything we have here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the terminal and run an NPM install. This is gonna make sure that all of our dependencies are installed as we run this. Now back in our workflow, the next thing we need to do is make a copy of the .env.example file to add our credentials for this application. So I'm gonna copy and paste the .env.example, and then I'm gonna rename this to be .env. And you'll see that there's one property in here, which is the database URL. So that's the thing that we're gonna to need to update. Now to connect to our PlanetScale database, we're gonna to need to create a connection string or a password in PlanetScale. So what we can do is we can uh, run a password create command. So let's go ahead and copy this. We'll do pscale password create. We'll give it the name of our database, which is ps underscore next.js starter. Then we'll give it the branch name, which is main by default. And then we'll give this password a name, so local dev. That's gonna be the name of the actual password that gets created. Oh, it looks like uh, I need to get rid of the underscore, so we'll just do local dev this way. So you wanna make sure to uh, keep all of this stuff in place. That's right here, so make sure you don't lose that. And then we'll just fill in these parts. So we'll have uh, the username that we'll grab from here. Then we'll have the host URL, paste that in. We'll have the actual password itself. And then we'll have the database name, which we just said was PS underscore Next.js starter. So this works fine doing this all from the command line. You can also do this inside of the dashboard and it's actually a little bit easier. So if we come into uh, our main branch and go to connect, there is a dropdown 
and it'll ask us what different framework we want to work with. In this case, we want to work with Prisma. It'll actually give us this entire password. So if we were to create a new one, because you can't see your old one after you create it, we could actually copy this entire thing. So there's two different ways that you could do this. So I'll just take the one that I copied from the dashboard and put this in here. All right, now with that in place, we want to run an MPX Prisma DB push command. What this is gonna do is take the schema that's defined inside of this Prisma and then schema.prisma file. It's gonna take that schema and push it to our actual database. So let's go ahead and run that command and then we'll take a look at the data that's in here. We've got a product model. This is gonna be name, description, price. It will also have a category. So it'll have a relationship to the category table. Each category just has a name, description, and then a list of actual products. And what this is saying is our database is now in sync with this schema. So we've taken that definition and we've pushed it to our actual database. We can tell this if we come into the dashboard, come to the console, we can do a show tables. Then we can do a describe of category, for example, and we'll see exactly what we just saw. Those same properties, but no data in there yet. Now to actually populate this with data, we can run the npm run seed command. This is coming from the package.json and it's gonna call a Prisma seed.js file where it's just gonna kinda of add in some dummy records here. So we'll run npm run seed. This will go and populate that database with a few records. If we now come in and query select star from category, you'll see we have a couple of categories. So we've got hats, socks, and shirts. And then we'll do a select star from product. You'll see we have a couple of products listed in here as well. So we have some dummy data. Now we can actually run this thing locally and show you what it looks like. So we'll come back to our terminal. We'll run npm run dev. This is gonna start the Next.js application. We can open this up at localhost 3000. And we should see that this data is displaying inside of the application from the database. So this is our Next.js starter. Here are the different products that we have, and you can see they align with the products and categories that are in the database. All right, so we've got that app up and running. It's connected to PlanetScale. It's using Prisma. It's pushed our schema. Now we can actually talk about deploying this thing. So one thing to know is that with PlanetScale, you have your different branches, but neither one of our branches yet is marked as a production database or a production branch. So we can promote this main branch to start to be our actual production level branch. This means that when we deploy this, we can update or add that uh, credential from our .env into our host, which will be Vercel. And Vercel will be able to deploy this application and host it. So at this point, back on the documentation, we have this deploy with Vercel button that we can use. What this is going to do is actually take a clone of that or a fork of that original repository, save it to my profile, and then we can update our environment variable to connect to our database. Now, if we wanted to change any of this code locally, we should have forked this beforehand, changed the code, and then connected to our repository that we created. But since we haven't made any code changes, we can just use this connect to or deploy to Vercel button, and it will go out and make a copy of that repository. So this is gonna be uh, saying, we're gonna make a copy of this repository, and this is gonna be PS Next.js starter. It's gonna be under my name. Tell it to go ahead and create that. After it's done creating, it's gonna ask us for the appropriate environment variable, which is gonna be this connection string. So we can go ahead and grab that and have it ready to go. All right, so we'll come back over. Uh, looks like this is already created the project, cool. So we'll uh, add the environment variable and then we'll click deploy. Now what Vercel is gonna do is go ahead and connect to that repository. It's going to run the build command and then host this site for us. And you, because we set the environment variable, it will be connected to our planet scale database. So we'll give this a few seconds to finish building and we should have a live hosted version of this application on Vercel. All right, so this looks like it is finished. If we go to our dashboard, well, we get a lot of confetti in here, which is awesome. If we go to our dashboard, we can then visit the site and you should see that we're still pulling in that same information, which is coming from our planet scale database. So that is how you connect a Next.js application using Prisma to a planet scale database and then deploy that thing to Vercel using our Next.js starter application. All the links are in the description below to follow along. If you have any additional questions, let us know in the comments and we'll make sure to help you out. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.